Six million Jews were murdered in the Holocaust, including one and a half million children. One third of the Jewish nation perished between 1939 and 1945. Most of European Jewry was murdered. It was the largest disaster that the Jewish nation had ever known, a glorious culture that had flourished for more than 2,000 years came to an end. 1933, Adolf Hitler came to power in Germany. Racist anti-Semitism, which viewed the Jewish race as inferior, became the official policy and ideology of the Nazi regime. With the outbreak of World War II on the 1st of September 1939 and the occupation of Poland, a new phase in the anti-Jewish persecution began. The Jews became victims of persecution and murder. The invasion of the Soviet Union by the Germans on June 22, 1941, saw the beginning of the mass murder of Jews by shooting. By the end of 1941, half a million Jews had been murdered in the territory of the occupied Soviet Union. During the Holocaust, the attitude of most of the local population to the Jews, alongside whom they had lived for generations, was indifferent or hostile. Most people watched as their longtime neighbors were forced from their homes, deported or murdered. Some collaborated with the murderers. Many profited from stealing Jewish property. However, there was a small minority of people who showed extraordinary courage and upheld their moral values. These were the righteous among the nations. In contrast to those around them, these saviors saw the Jews as fellow human beings and felt a moral obligation toward them. One of the few Jews who were saved from the Holocaust was Emil Ziegel. Emil survived thanks to the help of a righteous among the nations from Georgia, Sergei Metrovelli. Emil Ziegel was born in Yepopetrovsk in the Ukraine to a family of seven. He was the son of Genrich and Yekaterina and the brother of Vera, Samuel, Moshe, and Nachum Ziegel. Emil was 15 on the eve of the German invasion of the Soviet Union. The family fled from Dnepropetrovsk to Kislovodsk, which is near the Mineralnye Vody in the northern Caucasus. Пока мы были на концерте, немцы захватили минеральные воды. В городе никто ничего не знал, а это всего 75 километров. И папа говорит, с Виргой узнай, что творится. Встречаю. Sergei Metrovelli, a winemaker by profession who worked in a wine shop owned by Emil's friend's father, risked his life to lead six people, three of whom were Jews, through the mountains to a safe haven. Among them, was a meal. Он пришел и говорит, ночью, чтобы ты был готов, я за тобой зайду, тебя заберу. И Белла рассказывала мне, что тебя мы прячем, и нас расстреляли. А было написано, кто прячет евреев, тоже будут расстреляны. И он пришел в эту ночь и меня забрал. Ни вещей у меня нет, дома живет, ничего не вот так, как стоял, так пошел. Меня взяли, спасибо. Спасибо, что взяли. 
А бояться было нечего. Выйти на Северо-Осетинскую дорогу, и наш путь продолжался 486 километров. На перешли чуть-чуть грудью, там было уже без... Мамисонский перевал уже безопасно. И появился, и хлеб появился, и то, и все, и, и пиццу. Мы пили, знаете что? Там еще снежок был. И я в этих тапочках хватаю там терапическую малярию. И приходим в это село у цели. Родители дяди Серго не знают русского, а я, кроме Гаваржоба, не знаю грузинского. И они меня выхаживали и выходили. Я этой маме целовал руки и голову, и не знаю, как я буду. Я отец золотой, да не все золотые. А Серго какой я, не Серго, это душа, красавец. While Emil was in the Utsiri village, he was informed that his parents and the other remaining Kislovodsk Jews had been murdered by the Germans. А плакал я каждую ночь, когда снится папа и мама, я плачу. Emil's sister, the only member of the family to survive, received word that Emil had been murdered along with his parents. Она запросила, а ей ответили, ваши папа и мама, и брат, и Миль расстреляны в минеральных водах 9 сентября 1942 года. А я живу. Эмиль joined the Red Army. Победу встретил в Берлине с первой гвардейской танковой армией. After the war, he returned to visit Sergei and his family, to whom he owed his life. Years passed. Emil continued his tour of duty in the army, reaching the rank of colonel. At the same time, he pursued his great love, playing the piano. In 2005, Emil received the degree of professor of music. Emil and his family ultimately immigrated to Israel. In 2003, Emil contacted the Committee for the Righteous Among the Nations in Yad Vashem, requesting that they recognize Sergei Metrovelli as a righteous among the nations. In 2004, the committee awarded Sergei that status. Sergei's son, Abel, accepted the award for his father, who died in 1991, in a ceremony that took place in the very same concert hall where Emil and his father had been together for the very last time. <laughs> Если бы не он, я бы тут не сидел. И я ни на минуту это не забываю. Ни на минуту.